Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're taking a look at a new game called Castle Crush, which I'm currently having a ton of fun playing. I've been super addicted to this game over the past few weeks, playing it non-stop, and I wanted to share with you guys today. Now, this game is available to download for free on both iOS and Android devices through the link in the description down below. This video is sponsored by Fun Games for free, so I want to give a huge shout out to them for supporting the channel and making this video possible. Now, before we take a look at the game itself, I want to quickly announce that if this video gets 2,000 likes within one week, we will be giving away $1,000 worth of gems to one lucky winner. And to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is download the game, leave a like on the video, and post your username in Castle Crush in the comment section down below. But taking a look at the game itself, we're currently sitting at 2,267 trophies, doing fairly well so far, sitting inside a Castle 7, which is actually pretty high in the trophy system, only one castle away from the highest castle in the game. Like I said before, guys, I have been super addicted to this game, playing it non-stop over the past couple of weeks. So we're going to go ahead here, jump into our first battle. I know what you guys might already be thinking, another copycat of Clash Royale. But honestly, once you guys jump into this game, you realize how different it truly is. So, taking a look at a battle right here, on the battleground, you have three different lanes. One top, one middle, as well as one on the bottom. And in your deck, you have access to a maximum of 14 cards total in your deck at any time, which makes for some pretty interesting strategic decisions. Now, I'll talk about more about the deck building a bit later on. Now, on the bottom of the screen, you actually have your mana bar, which is your resource in this game. The interesting thing here is when the game at first begins, you only have access to a maximum of two mana at a time. And as the game goes on, you gain access to more and more mana as time progresses. We're gonna go ahead here with a demon to kill this uh, ape pirate. Now, the interesting thing with the mana bars is if you have a super expensive deck, it'll be extremely weak early game, but very, very powerful late game. So what ends up happening is if you can survive the early rush of a fast cycle deck, then later on, you can crush them with all of your mana flowing. We're gonna go ahead here with a mage as well as some arrows for these eight pirates. Boom, nice, do work. So once those eight pirates do some work, we'll get a uh, card down here. The Infernal should finish them off. Boom, there we go. Eight part, one health left. Oh no, we got a mud elemental coming in. Let's go quick. Uh, Shaman here to kill that mud elemental. Now I'm not too worried about early damage on my tower because we do have the uh, fortify, which can heal you up later on the battle. So we're gonna use our we're gonna freeze this right here. Boom, freeze. Yes, there we go. Skeletons do work, please. Get it dry down here to kill this stuff. Got some skeletons doing work. Nice, the demon taking out one of the skeletons there. Let's go Infernal, kill that stuff. Thank you, thank you. Mmm, I wanna do Fortify. And then we'll get another Skull King down here to take care of these eight pirates. Uh, I wanna go, wait for it, wait for it, and go Fortify. Now my main strategy with this deck is Skull King plus Spectre equals destruction because what the Spectre does is for every troop you have on the field, the Spectre gains more damage and more health. So right there, you can see how massive that Spectre truly is. That's because we had a total of 19 troops on the battleground when we dropped that Spectre, and we are gonna be doing some massive work right here. So, early game, guys, we were in some trouble. He was doing massive damage to our tower, but as I said before, I have a pretty heavy deck, which does it very well late game, and all we had to do was survive the first half of the battle, and once we got our maximum mana bar, we just crushed him with the Skull King Spectre combo. Now we're gonna go ahead here and start opening up some chests, then we'll upgrade our deck and jump into some more battles here, but we have a ton of gems to spend today. We're gonna be opening up a bunch of mythical chests. Now I did just recently hit Castle 7, so I wanna hopefully get some of the new cards and maybe a new legendary card from this castle. Let's go ahead here, open up our first mythical chest. What do we get? Boom! There we go. Arrows, uh, Meteor, and what do we have here? A standard bearer. The standard bearer, what he does is he makes all of your troops, despite what lane they are, go onto one lane, and it actually increases their movement speed as well as their attack speed. So let's go ahead and open up some more chests over here. I really want to get that dragon, which is the legendary card of Castle 7. Very, very strong card. Mage, nice. We can upgrade that. Some more pirates over there. We're gonna probably spend about 50,000 gems right here, and then we'll jump into another battle. So we got uh, Arrows, Executioner is a very strong splash damage card, as well as the Reaper, which does insane single target DPS, but has fairly low health. Let's keep going here, what about- Oh, guys, we're getting a legendary card! That red card right there is a legendary card. We'll open that one last. We got a new epic unlocked, which is the protection card. Pretty powerful stuff. Let's go over here to the extra crystal. I use that a lot in my heavy decks. It makes those heavy decks a bit more affordable. And over here we have a golem and for the legendary card, what do we get? Boom, the black witch. She is so strong. What she does is when you drop her on one lane, she turns any troops in that lane into skeletons 
while she is alive. So let's go ahead here with another mythical chest. What do we get? What do we get? More legendaries. Um, boom, fortify, extra crystal. I, I use a lot. Metamorph, thank you. Guys, we got a ton of gems to spend today. Huge shout out to uh, Fun Games for free. And uh, there we go. Oh, common card. Nice, nice, nice. Giant growth, guys. That card is so strong paired up with that Spectre. Because if you drop a Spectre with your Skull King, and then use the Giant Growth afterwards, the Spectre literally is an unstoppable card. And for the Epic, we get some more Metamorphs over there. So we're going to go ahead here, open up a few more chests, and then afterwards I'll explain to you guys how the deck building works in this game. And then I'll also give you guys the information to join my clan in the game if you are interested in joining. What do we get here? Mana Ritual? That card is so strong with these heavy decks. I'm definitely going to upgrade that one for sure. Go a couple more of these. Boom, what do we get? Dryad, here we go. What do we get for the epic card? We get a genie as well for the common boom. Here we go. Boom, more skeletons. Definitely going to upgrade this for sure if we get a few more cards. Now, let's go back here and start taking a look at the deck building in this game. Now, if you guys are looking for a new game to play, make sure you try it out by downloading through the link in the description down below. It really helps to support the channel when you do so. And those of you that are already playing or are early enough to download will get a chance to join my clan in the game. Let's go ahead here, jump into our deck. So, like I said before, you have access to a maximum of 14 cards in a deck at a time, which is massive decks. Now, the interesting thing is you actually have the option of having up to two cards each in your deck at any time. So it makes it a strategic decision of do you want more variety in your deck or do you want a specific card to come up more often in your card rotation? So taking a look at my deck so far, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this uh, free crystal right here, which definitely helps the expensive decks a bit earlier on. Get a couple more. And what that does is it gives you some more health on your castle every time you use it, because it kind of heals acts as a mini heal for your castle there we go there we go let's go one more and what do we have for arrows we can upgrade that for sure and then the mage i think was another card we could go ahead and upgrade oh the dryad too the dryad is a very strong card definitely love using her there we go oh guys we leveled up level nine right there boom there we go definitely going to use that extra castle health right there now taking a look at the card collection there are so many cards in this game guys a lot of really unique cards too like this one over here the um the black witch she turns every card in her lane into a skeleton. This one right here is the vampire. Every time she attacks a unit, she actually steals a bit of health from them and heals herself. But we're gonna go ahead here, guys. I wanna show you my clan information. So if you are interested in joining my clan, you're able to download the game and do so. So right here, the clan name is Crush with Shane. Once this video goes live, I will go ahead and open up the clan. And if you guys wanna join, make sure you leave your username in the game in the comment section down below. And I'll make sure to accept you. We can go ahead and do 1v1 battles, talk strategy, and overall just hang out and have a good time. We're gonna go ahead and jump into another battle over here with our newly upgraded cards and see how we can do with that level six mage I think I have now. He is definitely a strong card. And then afterwards, we'll open up a few more cards, do some more upgrades and jump into one final battle. So let's go ahead, drop our fortify here. I love having the fortify in my deck because it gives you some extra health on your castle and helps you survive the onslaught of those early rush decks. So right here, I'm gonna just kind of sit back and wait. He drops arrows on the field for some reason. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, probably just use we're going to use the arrows to kind of just trash that because I want to get another card in here. Like I said before, guys, our deck is pretty expensive. So it does really well in late game, but it is pretty vulnerable early on to rush decks as our opponent has right here. So we're going to go ahead and do... Um, kind of want to do... What do, we, what do we do? Let's do a Shaman up top to kill that Reaper. The Reaper is too strong to ignore. And then I kind of want to do... Okay, Reaper's dead. Thank you, thank you. Mm, we got two drives down here. I want to get a... There's this Demon King. Let's go... Uh, eight part right there. Let's go. I'll probably freeze this uh, dryad too to allow the eight part. Oh, the meter going down there, doing work to our eight part. Let's go fortify right here, guys, and a quick crystal here. What we gotta do is kind of just survive this onslaught and hopefully get our skeleton killing down to do work. Come on, come on. Let's uh, infernal this to kill that mage right there, and we're gonna go demon for the top demon. There we go. Take him out. Thank you. Nice. I'm gonna get our skull king down to hopefully distract these dryads in a quick second. We're taking massive damage. Though. Skull king finally going down. There we go. Boom, Skull King is down, taking care of those Dryads. There we go, nicely, nicely done. Get a Spectre down here for this. Boom, there we go. Heal our tower with that. Fortify, and I want to go Freeze up top here with a dry to take care of that Demon. There we go, and we'll drop a uh, Free Crystal as well. Oh, baby, this is looking nasty. Mage, go do work, please. Mage, yes, there we go. Take care of that Mud Elemental. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get a Demon down here for this. Skeleton's going down. We got, oh, he's got a ton of Skeletons coming in here. That Spectre is going to do work against us, guys. We're in trouble. We are in big trouble. Skeleton King here for this. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Arrows for his Skull King. I want to get a Spectre down here ASAP for his Spectre. Boom. There we go. Nice. Get there. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Ooh, he's got some stuff doing work to us. He's got an 8 part down as well. I'm going to go Dryad and Infernal here. 
for his uh, Spectre. Come on, kill it. Nice. There we go. We gotta kill that Spectre ASAP, guys. He's doing too much damage to us. Oh, no. I missed the a part going in the wrong lane, guys. No, 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 no. Fortify here. Come on, heal, heal here. A part right here in the middle. Give me some mana, please. There we go. Take out the Spectre, please. Ooh, that Spectre's too strong, guys. Draw a card. Give me something, please. Give me something. All right, guys. So that battle didn't end up going too well. We weren't able to recover from that early deficit. Um, let's go ahead and maybe open up a few more chests to upgrade a couple more cards and do better in the next one. So right here, mythical chest. There we go. Give me a legendary card. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Keep some coming. Keep them coming. Oh, legendary card coming, guys. There we go. Epic. Rare. Common. Oh, the Inferno is very powerful. What do we have here for the legendary? Boom. More Black Witch. Getting closer to level 3 as well. Keep it going. Keep it going. What do we get? Nice. Reaper Stone Statue. Giant Growth. The Giant Growth is so strong with that uh, Spectre. Let's go ahead here. Oh, new Epic card. What do we get? The Angel. I haven't had her yet. What does she do? I'll have to check her out later on. Rage and Archers. Uh, let's go here. Come on, give me some more, give me some more. Give me some more of this goodness. Meteor. Meteor is so strong, guys. So strong. Uh, what do we get? What do we get? Protection, arrows, blizzard. Upgrade that, maybe. I definitely want to buy some gold as well later on. Eight pirates, blizzard, and a genie. Keep it coming, keep it coming. More angels as well. I really want to check her out and see what she does. Because I'm definitely curious. Let's go some more here. There we go. Now, I want to go buy... Ooh, the demon. I definitely use that one. He's a powerful card. Uh, let's go, let's go. Fortified Mud Elementals. What else we got? What else we got? I'm burning through these chests like crazy, like they're nothing. Give me some more. Yes, there we go. Nice. A pirate. Extra crystal and the gesture as well. What do we have here? Boom, boom, boom. A pirate. Extra crystals and a reaper. Let's go ahead and buy one set of gold over here because cards can get expensive. Let's go ahead over to our deck and upgrade a few cards if possible. I want to upgrade the extra crystal for some extra tower health. We'll upgrade our fortify as well. And our Inferno. There we go. And, ooh, the Blizzard. That's a strong one, too. And then we'll do more A part action right here. The A part, so strong on defense. Um, let's go ahead there. Now, jump into one more battle over here. Make sure you guys check this game out through the link in the description down below if you are interested at all. The first three people that join the game will definitely get a chance to join my clan. Like I said before, just leave your username in the comments down below. And I will look for you when you request to join the clan. Let's go ahead here with this. Four or five once again. And it looks like he has an expensive deck as well. But he has that one card that makes the expensive cards a bit cheaper in there. I don't have that one in my deck right now. So we're going to go... He rages it up. Can we wait? Can we wait? What does he do? I want to do a demon right here. Yes. Kill this demon, please. There we go. Take it out. Oh, what? The metamorph getting in there. Can we arrows it down? I don't think it arrows will kill it, though. So we're going to go ahead with an infernal right here. That demon... There we go. It's fine. That demon was going to tear stuff up, unfortunately. But we did take it down. Let's go ahead here. Uh, I want to drop a dryad. And the bottom lane, get some stuff going on here. Once we hit 10 Elixir, we can get that Skull King down to do some action with that Spectre. So, he's going to copy our uh, Dryad with a Metamorphosis. Let's go 8 part to support. What do you have, sir? Ooh, that is the Giant Growth card right there, making this Dryad stronger. Um, and the Rage, too. Oh, it's going to be nasty, guys. The Unchained Demon and the Heal. He has an early Rush deck. Let's go Spectre here. Boom, plus 4. Kill the Unchained Demon, please. Thank you. Yes. The Shaman has such a strong range DPS. I love using him. Now, we're going to go ahead here and get a Skull King going on. He has an example of an early rush deck, whereas we have more of a late game deck because it's pretty expensive. So, we survived the early rush. We are now at maximum elixir, which is where this deck will shine. Go ahead, Mage right there. A pirate up top. Man, he can't stop this. There's no way. He is dead, guys. He is so dead. Let's go ahead. Uh, another Shaman down here. And I want to do probably... Oh, that, that, that demon's going down crazy. A part of Guys, good game. Good game to our friend Barb Bruce up there. That was a nasty, nasty destruction victory right there. Absolutely dominated. All right, we're going to go ahead here and spend the rest of our gems. And then we will finish off with one more battle to finish the evening. Let's go ahead here. Mythical chest. What do we get? More demons. We can upgrade that for sure. Uh, we got, I think, two or three more chests to open up. Uh, archers, catapults, and a Spectre, guys. The Spectre is my favorite card in the game. Let me know if you guys play this game or if you're interested. Let me know what your favorite card is in the comments down below. Let's go ahead here. Boom. What do we get? Nice. Angels, golems, and the rage. Oh, we forgot to check out the angel. I have to do that after this one. Let's go ahead here. One more mythical. Come on, give me some stuff. Angel, warriors, and infernos. Nice. And there we go. Let's go. Let's finish off with some uh, giant chest here. Come on, give me some stuff. Ooh, Meteors and Nature Heal. I want to do a couple Magical Chests, too. And see what we get. Epics and the Skull King. I use that guy a lot. Two more for level 6, I believe. More Skull Kings? 
Oh, Metamorphosis. That's decent. That's decent for sure. We'll do one more magical. There we go. Yes. Infernos. Angels. And one more giant chest here is all we can afford today. Giant growth and mud elemental. There we go, guys. All the gems down in the shot. Let's go ahead here. Get to our deck. Upgrade a few cards. We can upgrade our Spectre to level 6. And our Demon to level 6 as well. I really want to get this Skull King to level 5 over here. We only need two more to do that because he is the main attraction of our deck. Now, I did say that I wanted to go ahead and use the Angel in here. Uh, let's see here. What does she do? A Graceful Angel that heals nearby allied troops. That's pretty sweet. Should we try her out? Let's go ahead and use the Angel in place of one of these um, eight pirates here. We will upgrade her as well because she can heal stuff. So that sounds pretty sweet. Uh, what level can we get her to? We got a lot of them in chest. Let's go level three, level four, level five, and level six. Wow. Hopefully she's nasty there. Anything else we want to throw in our deck right now? Mm, I think we're okay for now. Let's try that out, guys. Actually, what do we have for... We have the Shaman as our legendary card. Let's go ahead here, jump into one more with that newly upgraded Angel card to hopefully heal our troops against Matt. Good luck to you guys. I love the emojis and the emotes in this game. Like, look at this. Hey, hey. And we can face... They have a facepalm emoji, guys. Look at that. How fun is that? A facepalm emoji in the game. Absolutely hilarious. Right, let's go. I'm gonna go Dryad here because I don't want to waste too much mana. And I want to drop a Demon if possible here pretty soon. Because that Dryad will go down quickly to the double pirates. Right here. Demon go down. Take out one of the pirates. Boom. The Demon has a special spawn effect. Whenever you spawn him, he does massive damage to one card. The weakest card on that lane. So we're gonna go ahead here with a, a Mage to take care of his splash units there. One more. Yes. Boom. Oh. Arrows to finish it off. Thank you. I'm gonna go Fortify to heal up that damage there. So all we gotta do, guys, as I mentioned before, is survive the early onslaught, the early rush. And this game does crush later on in the battle. So let's see here. Let's go eight part for that mage, and we can infernal anything if it does anything in front. Mm. Let's go uh, shaman here. We should be able to do work to that mage there. And a healer. Angel, do your work. Yes, heal stuff. All oh, the demon go going down though, doing work to our uh, angel. Like I said, the the demon has that spawn effect where it kills the weakest troop in your lane. So we're going to go ahead here and do the Skull Troop right there. Thank you. Mm, we can get a Spectre down as well. Watch this, guys. They've been nasty. Freeze that. Save our Skeletons. And then, boom, Spectre. 13 uh, bonus right there. Let's go ahead. Angel to support and heal them. Guys, this is going perfect. Like I said before, we're going to drop an early GG here with a uh, little gesture laughing. <laughs> Let's go a Skull King back here. And I think our friend Matt has given up in this battle. No, Arrow's going down, but the Spectre... It's just dominating that tower with a plus 14 bonus I think we had earlier on. Look at him. Look how strong that Spectre is, guys. Wow. There we go. Shaman up top there. And boom, our friend Matt is going down very quickly here. Rage Black Knight is no match for our Spectre. And boom, his castle goes down. Wow. Victory plus 34 trophies. Thank you, Mr. Matt from the Dark Clan. Appreciate it, sir. But anyways, guys, that is Castle Crush. So let me know what you think about the game in the comment section down below. Would you like to see more videos of this game in the future? Because we can make it a reoccurring series if you guys are interested. I highly suggest checking it out if you guys are looking for a new game. It definitely gets the Shane seal of approval for a game I suggest trying out. There is a link in the description down below where you can download it for free for both iOS and Android devices. Now, if you guys are early enough, you will be able to join my clan in the game. Like I said before, it is called Crush with Shane. All one word. When I release this video, I will open up the clan and the first few people that make it into the clan will be able to do some 1v1 battles with me and hang out and overall just have a good time. But anyways guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and let me know what you think about this game in the comment section down below. Anyways guys, that is the end. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.